big one in the middle. <coughs> Thanks. Wind energy 2.0, we unlock the full power of wind. I'm Rolf, CEO of TwinTech. So here we heard a lot about software, data, and artificial intelligence. But actually, if we want to be serious about this energy transition, we should not forget the hardware. Hardware is definitely on the critical path, and we need better technology to produce the power, to store it, to reduce our footprint. And hardware takes time, as we all know, and honestly, we're well beyond schedule here. We have to speed up. And a good way to be fast is to leverage technology from one field into the new one. And that's exactly what we're doing. We leverage recent developed drone technology to disrupt the wind energy market. So let's dive into this. This is wind energy 1.0. As we know it, wind turbines, it's basically a 2,000-year-old technology. For sure it works, but it has its limits. There are huge towers, you need huge cranes to set it up, and basically you still cannot reach the strong winds higher up, they still stick to the ground. On top of that, people don't like them in their backyard, so they move offshore, but there they're bound to shallow waters, only very severe limitations. So the question is, can we do it better today? And the answer is yes. Let me introduce you the energy drone. Doesn't need a tower, doesn't need a foundation. We save 95% of the material of a wind turbine. We can have a mobile system, we can go higher up, and last but not least, we can put it on floating platforms to go offshore. That drone basically flies in a circular pattern, pulls hard on the tether, which goes out at high force, comes in at low force, and this cycling movement is converted with a standard generator to electricity at the ground. So you can see a cool video on our web page, how it works. We start with the off-grid market. Off-grid is basically remote communities, islands, mines, resorts, which produce their power today with diesel generators at high costs. So mobility is a key asset of our system to bring the technology to these remote places. And mobility also allows us to have a service model. The TT100 is the first product for this off-grid market, produces 100 kilowatt power, saves 100,000 liters of diesel every year, 240 tons of CO2. Just imagine, you bring a box, 10 tons to the site, and it saves you 100 tons of diesel year after year. That's really amazing. And basically, with the system, you save costs, you save CO2 without any risk of security of supply. That's a no-brainer. And we are currently discussion, in discussion for first projects with remote communities and mines in Canada. So, off-grid is actually only a stepping stone. The big vision is to go offshore with that floating Giga Island, basically, the Giga Island unlocks 70% of the Earth's surface for wind power production, 70% which have very good wind. So the Giga Island will power the coastal megacities of the future. It will produce hydrogen, which will be shipped around the world with tanker. Hydrogen, the oil of the future, literally taken out of the sky. A bit of history, we also started with kites, as many others did. But we soon learned that's not efficient when to reach its wings. But the key event was really around 2014 when drone technology, civil drone technology, became fast, efficient, and cheap so that we could introduce that in our system. And that really made the game changer. And the good thing is we have patent on this. So a few numbers. We reached last year our power production target. We have two patent families granted. Third one is in preparation. We raised so far four millions, two in equities, two in grants. And we're ambitious 2025, we want to have 1,000 systems installed, generating constant revenue stream uh, for our profitable business. So we have also a dedicated team with experience in industry, clean tech, and startup as well, plus 
a cool team of engineers getting this drone flying. Currently, we're planning and setting up a pilot project, which is up and running next year in Switzerland together with a Swiss utility. And last but not least, hardware also needs money. We're raising capital, Series A, end of the year, five millions, basically to run this pilot and to develop the first product. And there will be further round coming for setting up production and financing the assets to really make our vision become true, unlock the full power of wind to get this energy transition running for our planet, for us, but mostly for our kids with drone technology, which originally has been invented for their toys. Thank you.